Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the May release, which is the build 22621.1194. This is the first feature update for the May release in the year 2023. In this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 update for the May release. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this. This one. So let's begin with the video. Some of the highlights of this update are the following. This update addresses an issue that might occur when the input method editor is active. Applications might stop responding when you use the mouse and keyboard at the same time. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects picture files you find using search on the taskbar. This issue stops you from opening those pictures. Also, this update addresses an issue that stops you from searching for a file based on the file's contents. And gaming related, this update addresses an issue that affects some game controllers when the game controller is connected to the computer, the computer might not go to sleep mode. Also, this update changes the experience for preview.net framework updates. After you install this update, all future preview or optional .net framework updates will display on the settings Windows Update Advanced Options and Optional Updates page. On that page, you can control which optional updates you want to install. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects search indexer.exe. It randomly stops you from signing in or signing out. Also, in this update, Microsoft fixed an issue that affects devices that are subject to Microsoft Exploit protection. Some applications stop responding or do not open. These include Microsoft Office and Adobe Reader. This update also addresses an issue that might affect applications that use Microsoft Edge WebView 2 to display content. Applications that use WebView 2 include Microsoft Office and the Widgets app. The content might appear blank or grayed out. Also, this update provides a Windows 11 service and stack update as well. This makes sure that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. And lastly, don't forget that in the article below in the video's description, you're going to be able to find more info about known issues in this update because we have a few known issues in this update, so it's better to know what to expect. So this is basically it for this first feature update for the main release in the year 2023. I'm hoping you enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to hearing opinions about the main release of Windows 11 in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.